Hey everybody, welcome back to another opening video. As you probably know, this weekend is the first weekend of the Paradox Rift pre-releases. And I just wanted to go over um, my pulls and you know open a few extra packs as well that I got uh, with each tournament. So, pretty cool. Um... I was going to play in a few more pre-releases today, which is Sunday, but um, something came up, so I had to uh, unfortunately drop uh, the both of them. Otherwise, this would have been, you know, really double the opening, but uh, I still feel pretty confident that we'll get something decent here, and um, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty stoked for this, so... Uh, before we get into that, let's just kind of get into my um, you know, my pulls. What I got uh, yesterday at the two pre-releases that I attended. I attended both of them at Taps Games in South Edmonton. Um, fantastic place as always. Thank you, Parker. And yeah. Uh, oh, and yeah, thank you, Sarah, for running it too. So, um, But yeah, here we go. Uh, the My pulls. So... My first kit, I ended up getting the AG Slash one. I really like this card, actually. Um, I think it's great. All over, uh, over, uh, you know, overall, um, it's pretty decent. You know, it does for, it's good HP for a stage two. Um, pretty high damage, right? And then a protection here from EXs and V. So, um, might be like a nice rogue card in standard format, right? You know, because there's Age of Slash EX uh, that's, you know, just came out, right, with this set. And I think there might be another few Age of Slashes um, that have already been released. I think there's one that does, like, I think it's, like, damage prevention or some type of energy acceleration, right? Uh, you could maybe pair that uh, with this and the EX. Pretty, pretty cool all around. The next one that I got was the, uh, you know, the tulip here. I believe this is the alt art, right? Because it's a double gold star. I looked in the set list. It's actually the last double gold star before the triple gold stars. So um, I just got a knack for for pulling, um, you know, like the 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 the, the alt, right? The alt, uh, you know, trainers, right? I've pulled, you know, Iono. I pulled, um, I believe it was Dendra that I pulled, right? I pulled, you know, Maridon back in, um, what was it, uh, you know, Scarlet and Violet Base. I pulled Karidon too. You know, I've been pulling lots and lots of alts, so I'm pretty happy with that. The next was the Full Art Tapu Koko, and you're right, another good lightning card, right? Um, I do play Maridon, so this is a nice little card, uh, to add in. I'm definitely doing, I'm gonna try it out, so. The second pre-release, I ended up getting the, the Zatu kit here. Alright, very interesting card, pretty, this will be probably really good in Gym Leader Challenge. I'm really liking Gym Leader Challenge, it just seems like it's a lot of fun. And... Yeah, it's a pretty decent one, too. I really love the artwork on Zatu, so it's awesome. The next, I got a illustration card in Slither Wings. So that's pretty cool. Literally the, the a Volcarona ripoff. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing really too much to say about this. It's got the ancient text, so that's cool. And then lastly... Just a regular Mewtwo EX, right? Another card that I wanted to get as I think it's, you know, incredibly useful. You know, Psychic Energy for a um, a Lightning, uh, you know, type, right? Attacker, right? So you're still able to hit that Water Weakness, but powered up with Psychic Energy. So the question is, is does it go into Gardevoir or does it not, right? If it does go into Gardevoir... How are you going to have to, you know, power this up, right? Is it going to be like a Raihan play with an attach, right? Or are you just going to attach manually? I'm still not really too sure on, you know, how this is going to be played. But I do think it's an interesting card. I really like the first attack too, transfer charge. 
attach up to two basic psychic energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So that alone, I think that you know could be um, you know an interesting card to put in decks. So just for that extra charge. And that is it. That was my pulls. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can get uh, get something else here. We do have six packs. Pardon me. Six packs of Paradox Rift. Hopefully we can get something here. I do have uh, some sleeves. I'm going to grab these 151 sleeves. They'll be okay for the time being. So, let's get into it. First pack, can we get some fire? Let's go. Let's go. These are all selected at random, too. So, all right. First one Joltik, Natu, Remoraid, Thumpkaboo. Absol. This is an interesting one here with Absol. The discarding cards and the tool. Simi Sage. Norman, pretty much a straight draw four. Yamask, Blipbug, and a Holo Chiu, which comes in the deck, so it's okay. Second pack. Do, 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 do. Can we get something good here? Phoebus, Apom, Galvantula, Mantike. This Mantike here is actually really ridiculous. Heal 120. <laughs> Rika, Gurgeist. This is an interesting card too. Um, if you, this if this Pokemon is knocked out with damage from an opponent's uh, Pokemon, discard two random cards from your opponent's hand. So Path, Judge, that. Professor Sita's Vitality, another really good card here. Choose up to two of your ancient Pokemon and attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of them. If you attach any energy in this way, draw three. Flittle, Tatsugiri, and a Thievil. So actually, I'll take out the Professor Seda, right? So that's probably like the best card in that pack there, the Seda's Vitality. It's definitely going to be used. Pack number three. Let's go. Pants Age, Minun, Snow Runt, Knuckle Stack, Toad Scroll, Scream Tail. This card here is really good. Um, this attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each damage count on this Pokemon. This is a great Gardevoir card. I think I'm probably going to start building Gardevoir. Uh, even like I still have that Gardevoir Mewtwo V Star deck, but I think I'm gonna start building it, uh, you know, the right way, um, and then playing with some of these. So I think it's gonna be a great deck moving forward. So I'll take that out. The Devolution TM, Joltik, Gimme Ghoul, <laughs> and another Mewtwo EX. So. I'm happy with that. I'm going to get four eventually. So, and the Gimme Ghoul is pretty cool for the Goldengo. So, I'm definitely going to get, uh, you know, a play set of those. So, I'm happy with two. The interesting thing right now is with Lightning type, it's, you know, really good against, um, you know, obviously Lugia. Lugia is probably the best thing um, to hit with this. So... Just kind of put these, put this like this, like this, like this, I like that. All right, pack number four. Let's go. All right, here we go. Nimble, 
Elegant. Huh. This Elegant's crazy good. 30 snipe for no energy. You know, back to the Neo days. Vanillish, Onyx, Simi Sage, Norman again. Orthworm, Pluzzle, Gabite, and another Thievel. Okay. Another pack here. Let's go. Pack number five. Can we get another hit? At least one hit would be nice, even though they are random. They're just groups of three from the booster box. Blitzel, Bound Sweet, Feebas, Apom, Technical Machine, Devolution again, Explode, Mela, another interesting card for Fire, Fire Decks. Right? I think this is going to be... I think Fire is going to get a lot of support soon. Wiglet, Simiseer, and Deoxys. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Move all energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. It's another possible Gardevoir tech. And then pack number six, the Garchomp pack. Can we get something good? Can we get the Illustrator Garchomp? Here, the, the SIR. Or the SAR, whatever, the, whatever it's called. <clears throat> tink a tink, Charcadet. Flittle, Trubbish, Toad Scroll, another Scream Tail, another Devolution, Golbat, we got a Mian Shell, and a Volcanion, so not terrible, not terrible at all, we did get a hit here, I'm not too sure how good, um, you know, or, or how easy it is to pull the uh, illustrator cards so but we did get you know a pretty you know decent um you know, set of packs here right there we go so yeah this is the paradox rift opening um there you know obviously will be a lot more of that coming up in the future you know probably the um you know after when the set releases you know the typical booster box etb booster bundle and then the promo packs uh opening right so that'll be good um and then kind of moving forward with that i'm not really too sure what we're gonna do uh because there's gonna be uh you know an updated video about that uh going to come out eventually so just kind of with uh with some priorities and stuff that uh, have been kind of going on with my life and um yeah but uh yeah there you go everybody thank you so much for watching uh you know don't forget to do all the usual and yeah once again see you in the next video